Good evening, I'm Kurt Gugsell. Dubois County scored four in the top of the 10th to beat Thrillville 10-6 over in Marion, Illinois last night in Prospect League Baseball. Southridge product Carter Whitehead had two hits with a double for the Bombers. Cade Moore pitched two innings of relief for the win out of the pen. The Bombers are at Terre Haute tonight to take on the Rex back home tomorrow to meet Lafayette. Jasper's Connor Foley was selected by the Arizona Diamondbacks in the fifth round of the Major League Baseball draft yesterday. The IU pitcher was the 164th overall selection. The selection have a, has a slot value of $392,000. Foley started in 14 games on the mound as a sophomore this spring for the Hoosiers, going 4-2 with a 4.71 ERA and 82 strikeouts in 63 innings. If Foley should return to Indiana, he would have two years of eligibility remaining. The last Jasper player to be drafted was Neil Geisler in 2003. The University of Southern Indiana women's basketball team will embark on a trip coming up in November. The Screaming Eagles head to the 2024 Division I Women's Basketball Puerto Rico Classic in San Juan. Coming up over the Thanksgiving break, it's organized by the Puerto Rico College Sports Tours and runs through November 29th through the 30th. Purdue and Auburn have finalized a two-year basketball series beginning next season. The first game will take place in Birmingham on December 21st, with the return game set for December 20th of next year in Indianapolis as part of the Indy Classic. The Boilermakers lost in the national championship game to UConn, while the Tigers won 27 games before losing to Yale in the NCAA tournament. Boilermaker legend and college football Hall of Famer Mark Herman was tabbed as a new color analyst for Purdue football games on the Purdue Boilermaker radio network. Tim Newton is the lead play-by-play -play man for the Boilermaker network. He takes over, speaking of Herman, for Pete Quinn, who spent 32 years as the color analyst of Purdue football. During his time on the field at Purdue, Herman was a first-team All-American and Big Ten MVP in 1980. He then played 11 seasons in the NFL. In the All-Star game tonight, the pitchers will be Baltimore's Car Corbin Burns. He'll get the start for the American League. He's 9-4 this season with a 2.93 ERA. Paul Skeens will get the start for the National League. The rookie setting the league on fire. He is 6-0 with a 1.90 ERA in 11 starts so far. The Pacers searching for their first victory of the NBA Summer League out in Las Vegas. Indiana is 0-2. Following back-to-back -back losses to the Nets and Timberwolves, they take on Phoenix tonight at Cox Pavilion on the UNLV campus. And T. Higgins not receiving a long-term contract from the Bengals. Their star wide receiver could not reach an extension with the team by the 4 p.m. Eastern time deadline yesterday. This means the 25-year-old will play the 2024 season on the franchise tag. He's the only franchise player in the NFL this year not to land an extension. Higgins will make $22.8 million this season. After back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons, Higgins missed five games last year. He had a career low with just 42 receptions. Stay tuned. We're back with more right after this.